They say breakfast is your most important meal of the day. This is the American breakfast. When I looked it up in Google search and hit images, they all basically look alike. Got your sausage, your bacon, your eggs, probably some hash browns, some pancakes. And this is what most American, a uh, majority of Americans eat every day. And then others probably eat, you know, fruits or vegetables. Now, I'm going to tell you something about pork. I watched a video the other day about the Mayans and it said something about they could have possibly done ritual cannibalism and um, they don't know for sure but they said something in there about pork now you got people that believe in the Bible as if it's a god you know, they are writings from men, and they claim to be God's words, yet, you know, there's a lot of back and forth, wishy-washy, one minute it's okay, the next minute it's not, one minute it's not okay, the next minute you're under grace and it's okay. Um, a lot of Americans that are... Christian or Pentecostal, Apostolic, and just different denominations. Um, there's so many of them, you know. But a lot of them um, in these churches, they're there and very un a lot of them are unhealthy and fat because they eat pork every day. They eat the American breakfast every day. And it's okay, and they raise their kids eating this. And they shun vegetarians um, when, in fact, the creator is a creator, and there is a life cycle. Uh, mankind is the destroyer. And, um,. Men wrote that book. The earth is made of two-thirds of water. We are supposed to be eating fish. It's more logical because the earth is made of two-thirds water. And, you know, fruits and vegetables. But instead, they got people believing it's okay to eat this every day when your breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You should be eating colors because we are human, H-U-E-M-O-N, humans, and we should be eating colors and be vibrant colors, but they want to clog your system with this, the DNA of swine, and people follow it like swine. They love having their hams for their holiday meals and all this it's just huh and they're fried embryo fried eggs these are these are embryos so embryos and fried swine oh but here's a little bit of fruit on the side as a garnish <laughs> the doctors always on medications and you know your family a lot of american families all you're doing is following in the footsteps of your elders and uh, being unhealthy and you're believing a lie. You're being deceived. Okay. So, here's the deal. According to the testimony of people who have actually eaten other people, 
The taste of human meat does not reflect its beef-like appearance. Both serial killers and Polynesian cannibals have described human as being most akin to pork. Therefore, your pork, ham, bacon, sausage, pig that people think it's okay to eat, one minute it's okay, the next minute it's not, but don't think about it. Don't have your own thoughts on it. Just follow these writings that is in a big thick book and parables and back and forth, read here, read there, go everywhere in, the, in there and read it and basically be brainwashed. Uh, we're not supposed to be eating pork. If the shit hit the fan tomorrow and people couldn't buy food at the grocery store and didn't know how to survive and they turned to cannibalism because that's what, you know, they say would happen, a lot of people would be in trouble because they'd already like it. They'd already like the taste.